did you have a moment to reflect over just this this weekend and what this m meant for the season? Yeah, just uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm batching it at the house. My wife's over visiting Trace in Spain, so um, you know, staring at the walls a little too. But it was nice. Just the thing that kept coming back to me is how proud I am of our guys for their bounce back after um, the horrendous mountain trip um, against you know top ten team and then validating that on Saturday with a, a follow-up win against Arizona State uh, just makes us proud. But, you know, the neat thing is our guys came back ready to go. Even our practice in Colorado, even though it didn't lead to a very good performance, was was full of energy and focus, and that carried over to when we got back home, um, you know, and led to the performance that we had. So uh, with this young group, and, and they haven't had bad practice habits, but it was just a heightened sense of uh, urgency um, and so now um, they understand the importance of that focus and intensity uh, day in and day out. And, and then plus the way we sh like we've been harping to share the ball, move the ball. Um, guys haven't always bought into that. Um, and, and we did. And it led to some of our more productive offensive games. So a lot of good things that uh, went into the weekend and then the way they carried through. And now you're going on the road. What, what would it mean to get a win at UCLA? I know they, they came in here and had that second half yeah. comeback. I know Dexter had a nice game in that, but what would it mean to go down there? And That'd be it? huge, you know, to build off of the momentum that we, we started this weekend here at home, um, to, to, to notch that first road win, you know, especially in conference, um, and, and really just continue to build the confidence of this young group. Is, is this that maybe you noticed from the mountain trip or just the road games in general that you sort of, now with more confidence sort of look at and be like, okay, we gotta make sure that on this trip, this is not something that we do. Yeah, well, I think uh, we changed a couple of things. Our ball screen coverages going into last weekend, um, and we simplified some things offensively, basically focusing on having the ball in the hands of you know our, our primary players, um, and then emphasized, like I said, sharing it, moving it, cutting. Um, and so I think we'll continue to build on those principles and and then just, you know, hey, let's go get it done. We, we just proved that we can play with one of the best teams in the country when we do these things. Let's take that on the road and not kind of think, all right, I'm going to be the guy that get, gets us going on the road. You know, I think it's that real, uh, like, kind of team concept, not the self-serving stuff. And, and, and it's just part of the maturation process with the young group. I tell you, when we went to the airport after the Colorado game, uh, our sophomores kind of got together and said, coach has been asking for us to step up leadership wise, even though we're still young, we got to grab the bull by the horns. Um, you know, and I'm speaking primarily of uh, Michael Tyler and, and Jordan. And, um, you know, those were guys that had great weekends for us. So we'll, we'll try to build off that as well. How did Jordan respond to the attention he was getting after this weekend? I just saw him upstairs, told him not to get a big head. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see. His, his effort at practice was good yesterday. He's a great kid. So he's not one that's going to lose focus and, 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 and lose his um, priorities. And, um, and, and we've got a great staff that will make sure uh, he'll continue to stay humble. But that's who he is, so we're not real concerned about that. What's the next step for you guys to, to, to look a little bit more like you guys do at home on the road? Yeah, that's just it. Play like we do at home, you know, share it, defend. I thought our rebounding effort was really good too this past weekend. That's going to be a key uh, on this trip. Um, and it's, I, I mean, there's no, there's no real secret sauce. You just, it, it's mental toughness and discipline and really hanging on one another on the road, not kind of fragmenting and thinking, oh, I'll be the one that gets us through. Um, and we just saw what that led to. So we're just going to hit those things, stay together, play hard, bring the fight to them, execute the plan, and, and we'll give ourselves a great chance. Obviously, you know, Jordan gets a lot of the attention, but this past weekend was something big. You got more than just him. How, how important is it that it doesn't all fall on his shoulders? Yeah, no, it's key because there's, there's going to be games like we saw on that mountain trip where they do a great job of taking him out. We, we've got to get a, a one or two other perimeter players rolling a little bit offensively to where when he's kind of taken out of it a little bit or use him as a little bit of a, a disguise or camouflage, some other guys can help. Um, you know, I know we shot it well against Arizona. Some other guys hit threes, but we're still looking for, you know, another perimeter player or two to help take some of that pressure off of him for sure. And for 
Kyla, I think 17 points at least and five of the last six, I think. Do you think he's playing some of the best basketball you've seen from him? Yes, certainly. Um, you know, he's he's a guy that struggled a little bit early, put a lot of pressure on you and call it the sophomore slump, whatever. Um, was frustrated. There were a couple nights he didn't sleep. Um, he set up a meeting to come in and um, we, we kind of cleared the air and I just challenged him. I, I said, Tyler, we're going to continue to coach you hard. Um, you're internalizing a lot right now. You got to learn how to shed that and come back for more. And I said, I promise you in a couple months, we'll look back and laugh at this day. And to his credit, he's kind of been removed a lot of the clutter, um, realizes that, we're, you know, we're just coaching him. We're not being extra hard on him. Um, and I think some of that frustration has left him and obviously put him in a position to where he's thinking and playing clearly now. And he knows, like, we, you know, film defensively, there's areas he's got to continue to improve. But he's a skilled kid who, when uh, he's focused offensively, man, he's, he's really good because he can shoot it, he can put it on the floor, he can post, can pass. Um, you know, all the things that we saw in him when we recruited him are really starting to shine. And, and give him credit, he's put in a lot of time to, to work and improve. What was your reaction after the conclusion of the weekend and the energy that was on campus? Oh, it was awesome, man. Uh, just there's nothing like it, you know. And I know we haven't we haven't really sparked a lot of that energy, um, you know, especially two years ago and with COVID and everything. You know, we lost some of the momentum we built up those first seven years. But uh, you know, the student section was great. Uh, people are really starting to buy in. Our guys fed off of it, and and uh, it's neat walking around campus, seeing the guys walking around campus or at the women's game, getting fist bumps and high fives and all that. And that's what it's all about. But you have to earn that, you know, by by your performance and, and your attitude. And our guys have always been really good on campus as far as treating everybody like teammates. Um, so that's been that's been one reason why, quite frankly, through all of this, our student sections remain pretty, pretty good. Um, but yeah, that, that certainly picked up the intensity um, this past weekend. And we hope to finish the season with the same. All right. How's, how's Trace doing in Spain? Uh, he's struggling shooting it, but he's, he's playing well, but he's, he's in a real funk the last month.